Pardon me. This is your man, Nico B. And this is The Black Effect. You already know what it is. Hit the like and subscribe button. You know, it's also the home of the Rap Raiders. You know, we coming out the next episode. Been having a little, t you know, a little trouble with um, technical difficulties and stuff. But trust me, it's rolling out. We're going to do a whole season. Next, uh, we'll do a little flip, you know, from Texas. And uh, end it with Pac at the end of the season. But uh, let me get into this. Because I want to do that. But honestly, like right now, rap is done with. It should be done. Rap, because what just happened, FBG Duck, we just saw a man, you know, another rapper, lose his, from Chicago, lose his life on camera. You know, we seen him bleed out, this, the last part, live the last parts of his life out on, on camera, flailing from, from bullet holes. Woman he was with got shot, you know, Lord, everybody, you know, definitely, you know, pray for the man's soul, you know. Pray to God have mercy on, on someone, you know, like that. Because just, I didn't see, you know, didn't notice this before because I don't pay attention to this new crap, this new rap, man. It's toxic. But I just, um, after I found, seen that, that he passed, I heard this song he came out with called Dead Bitches. That song is the most disrespectful song ever in history and in life. That song is more disrespectful than Hit Em Up times 10. I ain't never heard, like, bro, niggas taking it to, and, and Lord, Lord have mercy on us all, man. Lord forgive me for my part in this. You know, I used to, you know, do music and back in the day, and when I was younger doing stupid stuff, everybody wanted to rap at a time, but it was a certain, you know, this was like, you know, in the 2000s, this was a early 2000s, and this was when the code was in, you know, still in the ghettos and still in rap. You know, ain't no more codes and stuff, man. Like, and we, and, you know, and I said, I thank God that I never made it and, been, and was successful in that because that's, you know, I was taking that stuff literally, you know, doing too much, man. You know, taking the criteria of the culture literal, like the stop snitching, uh, that nigga do this, you got to get the to do this. Dog, stop that, bro. That's a toxic. That was a mentality to lead you to not only kill your community and lead you to hell. Oh, yeah. Not to mention uh, get as many. Man, I came up, grew up thinking that getting as many women as you could gave you a badge of honor like that and that uh, your daddy your uncles that that's in the niggas in your hood oh okay now you can fit in you know but you can't be smart you can't do anything like that you know nah man we need to drop that you know and replace like now you got the kings you got the brothers you got this type the big homies on youtube you got the big homies on social media giving you the game that i never had i wish i had if i had a had that i'd be a i'd be a millionaire right now lord knows that i had a couple you know at least 500 g's in the bank if i had done that you know, I didn't, but we didn't have become my big brother went before me, you know, and my big brother, you know, um, started his own business and, and got out of this, this knucklehead mentality. So he went before me. This is how the Lord blessed and blessed me and showed me, you know, you need people to go before you, you know, we don't have, we don't have big, big brothers. We don't have uh strong fathers. A lot of, like I said, a lot of, uh, people, brother, big, uh, FBG duck brother was just got killed before he died you know it's a sad tragic story man y'all niggas is doing too much man these niggas in chicago bro y'all giving them carb lunch to just say look we gonna call in the military or call in this just to go exterminate y'all niggas and that's why i say black people like people men of god men and women of god people who want to do god's will for your life get away from them you got to do that in your heart. You got to do that first in your heart and in your mind. Then you can do it physically. Then God will get you out of there. Get away from them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be like AVP, the second one. You know, the wolf predator in that joint. You know, where he handling that business. It's going to be like that because they're going to they gonna glass that motherfucker. They, like y'all niggas keep it up. They're going to glass that hoe. They're going to get the civilized people out and glass that joint. Because that's why I say it's got to be a great separation. We can't pick the we we gotta pick a side now. We can't stand with with foolishness like with this George Floyd video that just came out. We can't be champion. Why are we having that many funerals for him when we ain't have none for these little kids who are innocent? And George Floyd breaking man, he was all high on on drugs. Look, I'll do another video on that. But listen, man, 
we need to stop all the foolishness trying to champion um making taking bad is good culture like we don't need to accept that we better than that we are children of god man the first progenitors the first people on this earth so we need to hold ourselves to a higher standard just off that we but we ain't tried that we want to abandon god we want to do what we want to do you know what i'm saying dog that's like you know that's like a ship having many leaks you know you try to plug one of them with your thumb three more pop up you try to plug them you know with your three then four more pop up like you cannot stop it as a human you need god to heal the land man and you need to do what what i mean you need to do his will it says all these rules is in the bible these things that we got away from i keep going back to that because that's the only we have concrete laws here you know, these things have worked. We abandon things that work. Stop it. Come on, reverse it. Come back to the things that work. We used to have some type of integrity in these ghettos, man. It, that don't exist anymore. You know, niggas is killing kids. Nigg niggas that mad at your brother. They'll lead your son down the way. Sh pop, pop him. That shit started with Yayo. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Tony Yayo. Listen, bro. You know, I got love for him because he. I got love for people who down for their brothers and, you know, and and, and, uh, and uh, do what they have to do in, in, in the heart. I, I see niggas' heart. Look, bro, I'm not trying to demonize you, but if that shit start, you could say, see examples of it from Tony Yayo in the rap game, and, and, and it spills into these ghettos. Like, do it. Hey, you can't, you don't get away with you mad at a dude and you go get his little brother. That's that Richard Alpo shit. That started, of course, he did some shit like that. You know, that happened to Rich. When niggas grab Rich kid, you know what I'm saying? We don't do stuff like that. I am from the South, my nigga. Like, we don't get down like that. <laughs> That's word for real. Word to, you know what I'm saying? To, to, you, that word to Pimp C, word to, you know what I'm saying? Any nigga, you know what I'm saying? Word to the DOC. You hear me? Like, we don't do shit like that, bro. That word to the G-O-D. It's real. Like, if it's hell to pay, you know what I'm saying? It's like the nigga Omar say, you know? Really, like, real men know this. Like, if it's hell to pay, why involve a lot of other people getting them killed and getting them hurt? If you really want to see a man, you really have a problem with him. You know? Just like in the Bible, my nigga. Like, look, when David went out against the Philistines, look, get, get your best, bro. If you have a, you got the problem with me. You know, look, we could come, however, you come in these streets, meet in these streets as men, and we'll solve that problem. I guarantee you, you know, nigga might spare a nigga, you know, and whatever, y'all, but I guarantee you, y'all gonna meet, and the Lord will judge between y'all, but at least ain't nobody else getting killed. You're going to get niggas' kids and pop, pop. Look, that shit with FBG Duck, like I say, it, you know, he getting shot, shot up. He talking about th that song that he came out with was disgusting, man. That song, disgusting. It disgusts me. That song, bro. Ugh. They need to yeet that song out of there. You know, shout out to that nigga, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, Amazing Lucas. <laughs> yeet. They need to get that shit out of there, man. For real. Because that was disgusting. And, you know, I mean, bro, the Lord is the one who he give you chance after chance. Same thing I said with the Takashi 6 9 thing. Bro, stop playing. You know, these stop playing with your life. This is not a game. And at the end of the day, you going far this that this song, you going too far. Pardon me, when you dissing the dead. The Lord say let the dead bury the dead. Meaning when people are dead, it's over. You need to be why aren't you worried about the living? What you you want to kill them too? You you sending them to the afterlife and saying that the kid hit I heard he got hit up and he was screaming on oh, God. I mean I heard the kid got hit up and he was listening to his iPod. Dog, that ain't dude. Dude. Dude, do you think that whoever loved them, that that shit cuts them. Whoever loved them people. It don't matter if they gangster or they don't have to be no gangsters. You know what I'm saying? But you you got songs like you know you want to slide pussy nigga then slide then well two niggas jumped out of two cars like two cars pulled up and two niggas jumped out of both of them just unload dude you know I heard the the story goes that the uh, FBG and, and his team shot back but unfortunately man you know nigga you heard the the vid you seen the video inside the store shit sounded like a <laughs> like damn near a thousand rounds was shot out there I don't even know man. It was, it was terrible. 
but none of that's you know to be glorified anymore like you anybody with half a brain can see that that shit is stupid we looking stupid out here and then you got the black lives matter movement and all these other movements who and the and the niggas who the who running around trying to talk about the kkk they don't exist these nigga this the kkk man the bds the gds the, the fds the niggas who out there killing people man killing kids shooting everybody up selling drugs selling pills selling the sniff and meth these are the kkk nigga i get them country niggas who who with them sheets you seen videos of them they just want to be left alone they white supremacists like you a black supremacist like how you out your you don't say shit to the isupk when they say white niggas are the devil and they're gonna burn in hell or they're gonna be serving niggas in heaven and they kids gonna be bashed against rocks you don't say nothing to them they are black supremacists but white supremacy they just want to in that in today's day and age they just want to do what the hell they want to do on their own they don't want to mix they culture that's fine if that's all you want to do and when you address me you see me you address me with respect because i'm from the south again nigga it's country niggas down here we be just slack out you know i'm dapping them niggas up and you know what i'm saying good old boys and bubble sport type niggas power wild niggas we fuck with them we fuck with them they don't have to they could be themselves because they from the country like you know niggas from louisiana you know what i'm saying they just got that bayou swag to them it don't matter the co the color bro like kids grow you learn that from children children grow up with no color spectrum they love each other and you got to let them be innocent but today we pollute children you know what i'm saying but that's another story but dude chicago y'all get away you know get away if you you know the and if you wanted the lord to do his business get away and you know and we need to start sending the brothers you know y'all nra niggas like i said trying to go in for the kkk y'all need to go into the chicago areas and holler at the big homies in these gangs and give them you know start letting them know the structure of things man y'all can go you know do y'all thing over there y'all got nothing y'all y'all go over there we ain't worried about what y'all do over there but in the communities where the people we gonna move y'all gonna be over there and we gonna be over here okay that's how it's gonna work. We are gonna separate from y'all, and then whatever happen, be you know happens that may y'all ready to get it like that. That's real grown man stuff, right? That's justice, right? That's fair, right? You know, but see these some of these toxic niggas want to pull. They don't want to do that. They want to come clamp you and pull you in. They want to set a pit. They want to enslave your people, get enslave your sons and your daughters, and get them get like they've done, and then blame it. You know, ah oh, man, a crack boom. Nah, nigga, fuck all that. Get at the real, now we know, we can get at the real enemy once again. You have the this media, this shit going to the world, like big homies, people that you never would have got in contact with, giving you information. You only can choose to be foolish to it. You only could choose to do this and stay in the matrix like that nigga uh apoc i think whatever his name was i forget that fuck that stupid ball headed nigga name was in the first matrix movie where he sold this whole people last time mm, this state that's what y'all niggas want to do a lot of y'all want to just get back to this matrix shit man a lot of y'all just want to get back to regular life and you know whatever and it was hell on earth anyway you know but y'all was just being pacified by a few things but see now it's become you know everything's coming to fruition and now you see seeing hell on earth right in your face. Like, and it's not going to get better. You finna see lockdowns. You finna, because you know, the you, your, your man Joe Biden most likely is going to win. You're going to see lockdowns. You're going to see bull crap. And this is the law's will. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, we'll see. And um, it's crazy, though. Like I said, we just pray for 